Roswell, Bigfoot. Oh, oh, that kind of thing. Okay, shape-shifting lizards. Interesting. Conspiracy theories do require a wild, imaginative leap. I think we can explain it in a scientific way, so why do we believe some more ridiculous way? Yes, and of course they spread much more readily now with the advent of social media. Who can you trust? The term conspiracy theory refers to explanations according to which events in the world are caused by an evil plan plotted in secret by a small group of powerful individuals. Some decades ago there was this tendency to conceive conspiracy beliefs as pathological, but psychologists have shifted this. They now a days believe normal functions of our mind explains why people believe in conspiracy theories. The defining features of the conspiracy theory are the conspirator, the conspiratorial plan, the sinister plan that they're trying to bring about, and the means of mass manipulation by which the conspirator is keeping the plan secret. Sometimes the conspirator will be defined in terms of a concrete body with an identifiable membership the Illuminati or the Freemasons, Jews, more recently on things like the Bilderberg Group, Skull and Bone Society and various other secret societies. However, very often the conspirator will be defined in much vaguer terms. The big pharma, the military-industrial complex, global elites and so on. So they're always balancing between the need to define the enemy and the need to accept that the enemy is always going to be shady, secret and so on. Conspiracy theorists will often argue that if you destroy a group of powerful people in the world, you will not destroy the conspiracy because the plan is the key thing. Very often that plan is going to involve world domination. But if one looks at the level of cover-up that would be required in order to keep all these things secret, it necessitates having somebody who is actually in control of everything. Much of the conspiracist writing will involve trying to analyze what strategies and what power the conspirators have to keep their sinister plan or their identity hidden. Very often the manipulation comes from the plausible, things like science, government, uh, media ownership, to the ludicrous. Paranormal manipulation, use of occult powers, uh, manipulation of brain waves. Conspiracy believers, I think they, they genuinely believe in, in the theories and they, they really strive for the truth. It may seem naive, but there is this human tendency to uh, underestimate the role that chance alone can play in events that occur. This belief that the world is ultimately controllable, and that is a very kind of powerful driver of conspiracy beliefs in moments of crisis where there is almost like a vacuum in explanation. We see this uh, more social function of conspiracy beliefs and the fact that people believe in them or not is being part of their social identity. The stereotype is that they are in their cellar on the internet looking for the most recent conspiracy theory. The most people are neither believers nor skeptics but fall somewhere in the middle. Um, and for me the key question is not what differentiates the hard believers from the hard skeptics but how do we interpret that section of the population in the middle? Conspiracy theories can be dangerous for society. People who believe that vaccines like cause autism and avoid uh, vaccinating their children put them in danger. A thorough thinking person could debunk one argument at a time, but could not debunk all their arguments. Sinister conspiracy theories like the anti-Semitic conspiracy theories of the early 20th century, or if you talk outlandish in terms of David Icke's alien lizards, the fundamental error is always the same. They're all based on the fundamentally flawed assumption about how the world works. And I think that if one makes people more aware of what conspiracy theories are, it enables them, when they see a conspiracy theory, to see it for what it is. Thanks for watching.
don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to receive notifications for new videos. See you again soon.